All right, we're in the top left-hand corner. Where the Red Terran player is currently spawning. Beating Ragnarok 2-0 in the first use of the day. Can he do it twice here against another opponent? Another matchup? It is Dream. Actually here in the bottom right corner of the map. Yes, he is the blue Terran player from Team NV. He is not a giraffe. He is not a zebra. He is Bunny. I just want this to go into game number three to see how many animals you know. <laughs> <laughs> at, at this point. <laughs> just keep, keep naming off those animals. I promise I'll name an alpaca one, one of these games. I, it has to be the last one though. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll make sure that of that if it reaches the dirt game. So, TVT, light shade. These two players can be very, very aggressive. If come, if it comes to that, and TVT is quite well known for being that matchup. Like, oh, I lost the Reaper. Oh yeah, that means I'm gonna lose the game. All right, let's go into the next game. Yeah. Now, At least in the early game, of course. I, I don't know how you feel about TBT. Uh, some people says it's like their least favorite matchup to watch, but I feel like TBT is like kind of the... I, I think you can make an argument that it's um, one of the more dynamic mirror matchups that you can get. Uh, a lot of different things can go on. Um, so, so it should be interesting to see, you know, how these players... Like what build order they go for, how they want to open up here. Looks like Bunny's gonna go ahead, go ahead and uh, open up with a a command center here, early com command center. He's gonna go ahead and throw down the bunker to make sure that he's safe from any aggression, any pressure that Dream throws his way. Uh, coming back to the TBT conversation, I hard disagree with uh, these uh, white sentiment. To be honest, I feel like. Uh, TVT is probably the most tactical matchup out there. It's just very close to being like the, a chess game. Uh, in the way most mirror matchups are um, played somewhat with different builds. Um, TVT is this one matchup in which there is only one very good thing to do. So both players usually have kind of the same kind of array in their forces and play that differently getting it closer to what chess feels to me so that's how i'm think about this uh matchup oh, especially with the whole um tank positioning marine positioning and viking positioning that usually comes to in the late stages but i do feel like the early game of this matchup can be very very crazy yeah i actually agree with you that's that's how i kind of look at tvt as well i feel like it's very reminiscent of a ch chess match a lot of different pieces moving pieces and uh we'll see i think the player that utilizes the moving pieces uh, the best does come out usually on top so we'll see how both dream and bunny handle their pieces uh wow that didn't, that came out a little bit dirty but <laughs> uh anyhow uh, the reaper here from bunny will be making his way across into the main base of a dream. Look at a nice scouting information here, actually. Yeah, both players kind of getting the scouting. Of course, the Reaper is gonna fall to the Cyclone, but uh, a Banshee has now made his way through the map. Doesn't really feel like it can do too much. Banshees are not very fast without, without um, their upgrade. And uh, with a Cyclone out, doesn't really look like it can do much. All right, Lockhorn gets used. Uh, this Banshee is gonna be a little bit more safe. The Cyclone is getting close to that. Lockhorn gets used again. And uh, it's time for the Banshee to die, it's close. Four SCVs are still going to fall. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't feel like it was worth. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. Uh, we do see that Dream is ahead, a little ahead in the uh, work account still uh, because of that. Uh, those banshee kills um but yeah did he you know considering 
at all, I don't think Bunny lost that too much compared to what Dream lost. I mean, remember Dream, you know, kind of sacrificed. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Dream just lost a Cyclone. Oh yeah, yeah. Oof. Yeah, he's losing a lot of uh, a lot of units. I mean, he lost those two Reapers. I feel like the jumping of the Reapers was just trying to distract Bunny um, while the Banshee goes in. Uh, but yeah, he is losing a, quite a large amount of units here. And you can see it in the reflected in the army supply count. Uh, our bunny enjoying a 10, almost a 10, 11 army supply lead, while Dream is enjoying the worker lead. I'm kind of enjoying these um, Raven play by Dream. Two Raven on two different sides, trying to get some uh, kind of heads up damage. But man, this one Raven is almost certainly going to fall. He just retreats here in the bottom right, but. That it's not very safe down there, buddy. <laughs> too bad Terran doesn't have any recall ability. Yeah, and uh, two Vikings just popped out of that starboard. Raven is gonna go down, and uh, you were talking about uh, moving every single piece of your uh, of your uh, of yeah. your. How is it called? The chess. Um, yeah, just moving all the pieces on the chessboard. On the chessboard, yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, it feels like Dream just basically lost, I don't know, two bishops, something like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, of maybe. Of course, right now, Dream has uh, the, the bigger army, but uh, that's a lot of tanks on the bunny side. The Vikings are gonna get on top, both of the Ravens, and now the Vikings can just land on everything else. The tanks are not even sieging up for Bunny, and with a with actually a disadvantage in supply. He's taking it like a champ and just smashing the defenses of his opponent. Here there is one single Marine being very obnoxious. Vikings are gonna focus it down. And uh, it looks like, to be honest, the game is really reset, but uh, if you see at the units, the type of units the Bunny has and the ones that Dream has, you can see there is clearly a difference. Six Vikings against none. Because there are four Medivocs on the other side, there are six tanks for Bunny. And that buy advantage doesn't matter at all without like serious upgrades. Yeah, Bunny enjoying the air advantage as well as the ground advantage with those those uh, six tanks. Alright, it looks like Bunny is uh, setting up uh, his uh, contained perimeter which is getting uh, very hard for Dream to do anything about. It is, he has so much supply in just those medivacs. And they can't really do too much. Vikings being so obnoxious, they almost get an orbital command. And uh, to be honest, they're a little bit caught between a rock and a hard place. But on the other side, Bunny is still reinforcing the position, still sending more Vikings, still has a lot of tanks. And now he's getting his buy upgrades as well. Uh, Vikings are falling one after the other. It looks like Dream has got a little bit of a hold of himself. And now the rest of the contain can uh, probably be uh, killed, even though somewhat briskly. A mule gets used by Bunny to repair his tanks. <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> I mean, that's... Yeah, why not? <laughs> I feel, right, like, I feel like setting up. Yeah, I feel like Bunny might have kind of uh, overstayed his welcome. Yeah, especially with the Viking going in that deep. I mean, I could understand he was trying to get that command center, but that kind of still weak fight though. Yeah, he does still have the air advantage, so not too bad. That was a great play, to be honest, from Bunny. Like Dream was setting up the perfect anti-contain, surrounding everything, and now Bunny's just. Straight up dropping into his main. Two tanks in here. Every single one of these add-ons is falling one after the other. One of the tanks is a little bit out of position right now. Dream can finally probably kill this contain. The last tank standing on the high ground is gonna be killed and finally Dream can land some marines on the tank on the low ground. But 19 workers have died to death. And it really, really feels like Dream doesn't have enough to end the game right now. Yeah, I mean, good thing he does clean it, but at what cost? 
That's just a yep. lot of SCVs going down. And this is a mirror matchup, so you you have the same macro mechanics with the mules and all. And uh, it's going to be hard for him to make up that worker difference. Um, but you know what? Is, what is even worse is that Bunny is also enjoying the army supply lead here by almost 20. Uh, they do have the same upgrades, but 20 army supply lead. That is a pretty decent amount. Yeah, it definitely is a big advantage on Bunny's side. Game is not over yet. Uh, Dream is kind of recovering very steadily from his uh, disadvantageous position. But Bunny still controls the map completely. It can freely expand. So he's just going to do that. Getting a fourth. All right, looks like Bunny is going to go ahead and start knocking at this uh, third base here. Uh, Bunny actually taking out the one only tank of a dream and just so much marine. Look at that concave. Pew, pew, pew. And is going to peel his way into a victory there. Bunny takes the 1 0 lead. Crazy game by Bunny. I'm so impressed by this guy today. Very much uh, unexpected victory as well. Very hard to predict we were saying that, but Bunny just stepped up this game, I feel like, today. He just. This game was not really looking close to me. It was looking kind of doomed from the get-go, to be honest. Yeah, Bunny, Bunny is just playing so well. I mean, I mean, I feel like like he's playing so well. Like maybe maybe this upcoming Chinese New Year is the year of the bunny or something, or the year of the rabbit, whatever. Because oh. <laughs> he's getting some extra power somewhere or something. Because he is looking really really good. He's looking very very good, and now we're going to go on Oxide, and not a very short map. And Bunny just played four games in four very short maps, and none of them was looking anywhere uh, closer to him being defeated. So let's see how we, if he does it one more time or not. We're in the top right hand corner. Where the Red Tavern is currently spawning, he needs to win a row to make it in first place. Otherwise, it's gonna be a rematch against Ragnarok. Can he do it? It is. Dream. And spawn here at the bottom left corner of the map. You see a blue Terran player playing for Team NV. He is not a fish, he is not a frog, he is bunny. Yeah, reptilians and fishes were new to the to the party, so <laughs> we have a pretty good zoo coming up here. Yeah. Just don't put in insects or anything. Okay. Kind of disgust. I promise. <laughs> you will do that. <laughs> All right, Bunny sending an SCV out for scouting this game as well. Um, a lot of the advantage that Bunny was able to claim was claimed in the early game uh, through a series of uh, efficient trades. A little bit better of a build order, it feels like, slowing down his upgrades a little bit to. In favor of having something more um, strong defensively. And uh, it feels like the double Draven is uh, pretty much the average way to go in this matchup right now. But uh, Dream was playing it very aggressively and got punished for it. Do you feel like Dream will try to play his Raven aggressively again? Mm, I feel like I, I could understand the idea from Dream. I just think that he just kind of lost too much units in the early game. Um, I feel like he should have probably poked in with the Reaper in the in the natural. Uh, kind of draw Bunny's attention there that way, but doesn't just like completely lose it. And then also with his uh, his Banshees, um, did get a few SCV kills, uh, but not nearly enough that I don't think he wanted. Uh, and then you know, follow that up with the kind of the Raven that didn't really do too much. Uh, just just losing too much damage. Uh, I would expect 
him to be a little bit more careful with his army, uh, especially in the early game, and uh, not lose too much and have a snowball where to the point where Bunny is kind of kind of shutting down your third base there. It looks like first blow, and he's gonna be drawn by Bunny, getting uh, the Reaper out of Dream. Another Reaper is coming from the red player, poking into the main, getting a good scouting, stopping that starport from uh, going up for uh, a few more seconds. And uh, Dream on the other side already has a starport done. So, on one side, faster player we built. On the other side, we see uh, the... Well, not with builds, with uh, tech structures, I wanted to say. Uh, the faster player with... Uh, uh, economy with an earlier orbit command. Kind of like the ladder better. Not gonna lie. All right, Reaper from Bunny will go ahead and take down the SCV there before losing his life to that grenade there. Um, but he did get the good scout. Got the uh, scout on the starport with the tech lab. Now the tech lab was not researching, was not jiggling with cloak. So it could be a Raven. It could be a Banshee. Uh, Bunny though does want to be a little bit extra careful gonna go ahead and make that Raven as well make sure that he does not get uh, get you know caught off guard with the cloak banshee Ravens are just always good in this matchup so important not to lose them late in the later stages as well so Dream was looking to go for something aggressive again, um, decided against it, he's just gonna send in the Banshee. Banshee dealing damage, killing two mules and uh, one mule and two SUVs. But he's definitely gonna lose his life for it. On the other side, the one alien, actually it was just one, one alien and one Reaper got even more drones than a Banshee. Banshees are so risky in this matchup. I cannot stress enough. If you go for Banshee, you better have a dang good idea what to do with them because they're very expensive and they kind of do less than a Hellion. So, good play there by Bunny. Killing the Banshee, losing very little for it and uh, paying his opponent back with the interest. Yeah. Now, it's not completely over. I mean, it's still pretty even game here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, looks like both players are going to go ahead and start establishing the dirt base, the dirt command center. And uh, it's going to be, once again, a chess game from there on out. See how the player utilize their, their pieces, how they maneuver around. Can they catch their opponent off guard and out of position? And uh, with the, the additional Ravens that both players are going for, uh, we might see some Raven kind of uh, auto turrets backstab. Uh, in the mineral line, or we can just use them, uh, they could use them to save some energy up, go for the interference matrix uh, on those tanks during the engagement, and uh, it should be a, a pretty good fight there. Um, both uh, players are similar in terms of uh, the army supply, as well as the army composition, and as well as, well of, of course, the worker numbers. Uh, it feels like Dream with the third Raven, might have a little bit of a better fight. Of course, the two Vikings can be very scary. It all comes to who gets the heads up. And uh, it looks like one of the two players definitely has a heads up. That's a lot of auto turrets. Here comes a very good interference matrix on two of the tanks. But still, damage has been dealt kind of on both sides. Losing one Raven for a one tank, not the best you can take. But uh, Dream had to lose a bunch of his Marines for that as well. In the end, wouldn't call it an even trade. Losing the two Ravens definitely hurt Bunny more than Dream was hurt here. That was just kind of an awkward fight, <laughs> I gotta say. Uh, yeah. I guess they just caught themselves, each other, in the middle of nowhere. and wasn't expecting it. Uh, but yeah, this time around, the Ravens count uh, has been reset, at least their energy-wise. Uh, uh, but Dreamhast does have uh, enough energy for two more auto terrorists. It will take, actually, it will take a nice engagement, actually. Dream absolutely smashing Bunny in every single engagement. Bunny playing so carelessly, so overconfidently, losing so much of his important pieces. And uh, now Dream really, really has a, a big advantage in this game. And it kind of feels. 
like he's in complete lead like right now like I, I can see very little scenarios in which dream loses this game yeah he is enjoying a uh, pretty good supply lead but of course the thing with terran versus uh, terran i mean you know those are huge uh, those kind of huge supply leads can kind of turn in a dime it just takes one engagement one bad engagement to lose that lead uh, but with the caliber of Dream, I just don't see that happening, especially since he does have those two Ravens left. He does have uh, more tanks, if you like, uh, or at least similar tanks. Uh, but those uh, those interference matrix and those auto turrets are going to play a huge part during the fight. I barely lost one of his three Ravens, and uh, now it's also pretty close with the air advantage. Of course, these Ravens are not going to make it easier on uh funny side meanwhile more enforcements are coming for the red terran he's not playing this careless carelessly so he's not gonna go for any reckless attack he's just gonna wait for the right moment to strike and uh Bunny trying to save as much as possible this orbital command is under attack and uh dream has set up yet another contain he kind of feels like Bunny needs to transfer to the other base right now and uh, it's gonna cost him uh, resources and uh, quite a little bit of time now a drop into the natural he's gonna get 14 SCVs and as you can see dream complete control of the battlefield complete control of the map and uh, honestly complete control of the game he's gonna lose the medivacs there that's not great oh but he does catch out the counter attack uh, by uh by bunny that's got a nice Dorito cannon on those marines we'll push him back and now Looks like Dream is going to be go ahead and try to bombard this south side base of a bunny. Now, if he does, if he forces once again bunny to lift off, that's going to be very, very problematic here for the economy. But it looks like, oh, He's wow. Not high for bunny. His tank sieged up so much later than Dream. It felt like almost, uh, I'd say, two full seconds later. And Dream was already sieged up. And these tanks just. Poof. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could see the nice idea to kind of get the, the kind of a somewhat of a concave, but just yeah. too much on the ground there by Dream. Oh, rough game on Bunny's side. Was playing so greatly up until this match. And that is a huge boost of confidence for Dream, for sure. Because that game was very one-sided. Even like with uh, the few initial trades, the Banshee not doing much, the counterattack from Bunny just doing a little bit more damage. It was not like this scenario in early game TBT in which like you get enough units to just snowball afterwards. Bunny just went into an engagement less prepared with one less Raven and uh, the Ravens from Dream were just a lot faster dropping down those, uh, those, uh, um, those turrets. Mm -hmm. And from there on, another reckless attack from Ombani's side, losing all of his tanks, losing all of his ravens. The game was just over from then on. Yeah. Dream was just in a cruise control afterwards. Now he is going to go ahead and push it to a third and decisive game. Whoever wins this upcoming game will come out number uh, come out first out of the group. It's going to be on Pillars of Gold here. Countdown has begun. And here we go. Still uh, very much surprised by the, the map chosen by these two players. Like right now, very standard map, very common map in this matchup. Let's see how they will do here. All right. Spawning in the bottom left hand corner here. On Pillars of Gold, he's definitely up to no good, I feel. It is Dream. All right, here, spawning at the top right corner of the map. He's the blue Terran player playing for Team NV. He is not a cow. He is not an alpaca. He is a bunny. Oh, yeah. Right in the fields. All right, both players proxying each other. Why not? <laughs> oh man, this last game, this 
third decisive game. Why not go out with a bang? Both players just going to go ahead and just cheese out their opponents. It's also the same proxy. Like, it's exactly the same play. Like, put the mirror in the mirror. It's oh, going to be... Like uh, coming down to whoever micros their Reapers the best, right? Yeah, definitely. Like, game one... Oxide, like like shit. Sorry, second shortest map. Actually, first shortest map. I feel very wide in some somewhat. Very good for aggressive play, macro play. Game number two. Oxide, second shortest map. Very wide, very good for proxies, macro game. Game number three. Pillars of gold and a proxy. Things These are terrible for you guys. <laughs> Things are about to be a bit crazy here in a couple of seconds. First initial Reapers are being produced and about to come out and pop out. Oh, Dream. I mean, they both completely, they do not know at all. Like right now, Dream is finally sending an SCV here of when his Reapers are attacking. On the other side, Reapers are attacking. This is crazy, guys. It's gonna be SCVs against Reapers all day long. It looks like one of these two players is microing his SCV, the other is microing the Reapers. And, uh, oh man. Oh, but it's important to note that the second dep uh, depot, supply depot did finish for Dream while Bunnies is delayed here. So he's gonna have a more supply to play around with. Uh, definitely gonna be uh, slightly ahead, uh, but Bunny has a little bit more economy, so he can make a bunch of Marines eventually. Not that they're great against Reapers, but they can do stuff. It looks like both players will be able to get a 50 gas to squeeze in one more Reaper, and uh, Dream has one SCV on the other side of the map, ranking him a uh, supply lead in some awkward way. It looks like both players are just gonna send their orbital, orbital commands through the map. But... I mean... <laughs> what is going to happen now? You know what? If Dream can start mining, because he does have one SCV, right? Uh, he, can he needs to gas, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, let's see how, how much units they have. Both have seven Reapers each. Okay, all right. So it's going to be come, coming down to a Reaper Micro here. Yep. Uh, we see two dr um, Well, not two drones, sorry. <laughs> two Marines on one side. Uh, three Marines on one side, sorry. And one Marine on the other. Sooner rather than later. And um, that is kind of an advantage. Not the biggest possible. Uh, but Marines statically can deal a lot of damage. So if Dream gets to this side of the map, he can really get some damage. It kind of feels like this is going to be a draw, though. Now, the thing about Reapers is they can't shoot up, so if nope. if both players does not have a way to attack the air, uh, then it's going to be pretty much a draw. Um, although, it's still possible for them to start mining, because... Yeah, yeah, they have the mule energy, so... I mean, I guess the game kind of resets back to the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be basically a Wings of Liberty game now. Eight Reapers each and uh, three SCVs. The good old days. <laughs> the good old days indeed. All right. Bunny started in the top right, everybody, if you didn't remember. So, yeah. Yeah, for, for someone just tuning in right now, they're like, what in the world? <laughs> Why does this always happen to us too, as well? <laughs> yeah. It is not the first time, everybody. Definitely not. Wow, we do see a three sneaky Reaper here coming out of Bunny on the side. Trying to get some worker kills. Oh man, that was risky. That was a... Uh... Almost going to go very badly for Bunny. He didn't, but he didn't get the mule as well, so... 
Yeah, so no sight. Yeah, that that was actually a pretty. I, I like that idea because I mean, three reapers, of course, does one shot the SCV. Uh, if you can kind of find an opening where the mineral line are not defended, then yeah, you can get some nice damage there. Um, unfortunately, the reapers were parked there uh, for Dream, so he would uh, he was yeah. able to kind of defend that pretty easily. Also, very unlikely, like there was a a mule on that side, so you can only try to kill the mule and. Uh, while three Reapers can one-shot the SCV, they definitely do not one-shot the Mule, so... It was unfortunate. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so... This is uh, gonna be pretty much a, a, a slow rebuild here. Of course, both yeah. players are working off of very little SCVs uh, from all the SCVs that were killed earlier on. And we'll just go ahead and slowly see them kind of rebuild everything yeah, probably the first few tanks are going to be very important with uh, what is about to happen in the next few stages of the game. And uh, I have to say both players very quick on their fingers to remake what was lost. And uh, none of them feels ahead by any means. I'd say Dream is slightly ahead, but just a very narrow um, amount of um, just time, just honestly, just time, just making his factory slightly earlier. Yeah, but that, that's about it. Yeah, this is gonna be a slight early lead uh, because we, you gotta remember, he did have one SCV left over and then also he landed his SCV on the bottom base. So he was actually able to mine faster, a bit quicker. While Bunny, he actually traveled all his command center all the way to the left side into the main base of a uh, I guess the original main base of Dream. So it took him a little bit extra more time to start mining. Uh, so Dream, you can see him uh, having eking out a little bit of a worker lead here with a 16 to 13, as well as, of course, the uh, fa uh, slightly faster factory, as you mentioned er uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, it is a very tough decision. But it, it is more risky to take the base that Dream took. But of course, risk against reward is... a. Uh... In this scenario, it's probably the best thing you can go for. Um, going for a risky play, since there is not a very high possibility to just straight up lose, since your opponent is pretty much in your same spot. But this, uh, oh man, this is such a hard decision to make. Dream is certainly getting the advantage you were talking about. He's gonna go for Cyclones, while Bunny, being in a defensive position, being in a defensive um, uh, kind of base, He's gonna go for the tanks and mm. try to drop. Yeah, so we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a deviation. Uh, it's kind of in chess analogy, one going for the bishop and maybe the other one going for the the rookie or something like that. Uh, we'll see if Dream will be able to make this attack work. It looks like Bunny actually moving his uh, reapers across the map, so we might actually have ourselves kind of a weird, maybe possibly a base trait scenario once again. Does feel like Dream is in a very better spot, and yeah, Bunny is kind of moving out, sending his tank into the medivac was not the best possible decision, and right now it definitely feels like Dream is gonna get the uh, better engagement. And he definitely does that. The Reapers are trying to do their best on the other side of the map, but there's definitely not enough of them. Dream, gonna clutch this series and be the first place player out of Group. A. But man, this was a heartbreaking game for Bunny. 